Hey, we got the solar eddy power station being set up here. You can see it here. And I have the brand new 300 watt solar panel. And we're setting this up for you today. Brand new. Brand new solar panel. You can see here. And we have the uh, solar panel cables. Perfect cables right here. With the uh, connections, right? Solar panel connections. Press the button and they open up. And it's got the uh, stands here. You see the stands? Nice stands to uh, hold the panel up. Right? You can see that stand. And uh, you can see one of the solar panels here. And we're going to be setting up the stands to hold this up. And uh, I have this upside down. I'm just going to move it over. It's a little heavy. a ladder just in case I needed to stand it up there. So you can see the panels, they're all here, and uh, we're going to move this out into the light. I'm just doing into the shade here so you can see it. See this thing? Set up. Perfect angle. And like I said, we have the, in the pouch, we have the connection cable. And uh, we're going to connect this to the Blue Eddy power station with the proper connections. You see the cable here. These are very good cables. They're very thick. They're able to handle the full load. And uh, I bought extension cables so you can go a, uh, a longer distance from your from your power station with the uh, connections, right? I got the 20 footers here, the support of extra cables, and uh, to set that up. But uh, I got the uh, power station right here. And it's real simple, you can't get this wrong. You know, this right here, you see again, you got the cables. You got your cables here. You got a positive and a negative, right? And you just look at the cables. Positive and negative, right here. Snap that in, right? You snap this in, also. Get it in there. This, uh, you can see I'm, I'm taking the ties off again. This is my first time putting this thing together. And we'll go through this uh, another time in more detail. You just uh, subscribe, add a comment on the video, what additional information you want to know about this, and we can, uh, like I said, run test. So now this connects into this adapter. It's the blue one, right? You can see that. And uh, we connect the two yellows here. And it's a special formed angle connect in and 
blend. We're going to look at the the blue eddy. You can see that here. Just turn it around, and you can see the cable here. The cable is right here. I'm going to unscrew this. Right in. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I haven't even turned it on yet, so I'm going to hit the power button here. Yeah, you can see the display light coming on. And it shows, I've charged it up a little bit. I'm at 87. You can see here that I'm at uh, 87 watts now on the uh, the blue eddy, right? You can see that the display. It's hard to see the, the the display, but it is there. You just tap it, the light goes on, and you can see that display there. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug it in. Sorry about that uh, connection there, and. Uh, Plug this into the unit here. Like I said, it's the blue, see? The blue cap comes off. The blue part goes right in. And there's a little slot here. So that two, two prongs is right in the slot. And, uh, Right on the bottom, the two prongs right here. Slide right in. And then you just turn down the blue connection piece, right? And the connection piece is plugged in. Here we go. We've got a, a connection here. And you can see PV has got the 11 volts right now. So we can see that with that, fortunately, you're going to have to take the camera and disconnect it here. You know, we're right here at the backyard. We got our chickens over here, the panels in the backyard. And as you can see from the panel, we have the display here. And you should be able to see on the display that there is a uh, 11 volts right here let's see if you can see that blue eddy You can see that now. You see that it says 10, 10 watts. So that is charging up the unit. We're at 87, right? So here you see it's already, you know, you can't do this ring wrong. It just plugs right in, automatically sensing that it's charging up. It's in the shade. And uh, we just have to. We're going to put this thing in the sun now. I'm just going to move it over, okay? And just be with me for another minute here as I connect this over here. And you can see we got it in the sun. And we're just connecting the wires, holding this thing together.
All right. So now we're in the sun. You know, it's not the uh, the brightest sun. It's late in the afternoon here. And we got the uh, the blue eddy, like I said, connected. And we're gonna be turning the unit on. And as you can see, it's up to 112, 107. So that's what I'm saying. We get this on a nice sunny day, 155 right there. The clouds are moving. So here you got this thing unit charging up. It's only gonna take a couple of hours to use this uh, power station. Like I said, 2,048 watts. And you got your uh, AC connection, other AC connections. You got your 12 volt connections. And uh, this is what I like, is for your iPhone here, USB connections, right there. You can see the USB connections, iPhone connections. And that's what we got, this Blue Eddy. And you can see it's still charging up very nicely here. You know, fluctuating based on the sunlight. And we got more USB connections here. USB connections. And then we're gonna be plugging the refrigerator, you know, and uh, we can be mobile with this. You see, you got four connections. So we can be mobile with this and we're in the sun. Like I said, we got our panels. We have our cables here. You see them on the ground. I just got them plugged in real simple, positive, negative, plugging into the adapter, right into the, the blue connection on the side here. You can see that this is where the solar panel slid in and just screwed it tight. And uh, you know, the power button was on. I put the power button on here, tap on the screen, and we can see that we are running here 82, 70. It all depends on the sun. And this is the perfect angle for North America, right? 45 degrees. You can see the, uh, the setting here, and uh, we can move this. And then we're gonna get a stand. We're gonna elevate this a little bit, but you can leave it here. And like I said, it's got wonderful stands here to hold this thing out. And they say, don't leave it out in the rain. And uh, this is gonna be our home backup unit. You know, they keep the electricity. We lose power, we just lost power. This is amazing. We just had this, we just lost power. Uh, me and my wife were, uh, up in Massachusetts and we just lost power we lost you know I got home and it was uh the clocks were four hours behind that's four hours so I'm gonna be setting this thing up and plugging this baby into the refrigerator I can't afford to have the meat and everything get cold you know lose its warm up so I just want to say I appreciate you you joining us uh, on the video like it put your comments in like I said blue 80 it's a powerful unit I do have the additional battery that goes with it, you know, and you, you can see this thing is 90, and that's what I say, I got, we got the high, and I got two panels, so we're going to be putting this in series, the two panels, I'll do another video when I set the next panel up, and get all that voltage in here to, as a battery source for our, our home, you know, and I got a generator in the back there, but that's going to use a lot of gas, and the price of gas is going up. So with the price of gas going up and the uh, electricity, so I'm backing up this unit, backing up this unit uh, with the AC backup. The AC plug goes right over here. You can see the AC plug goes right in here. This is where the additional battery, the, the B230 and the B300 batteries get connected in here. And we do have those batteries. I'll set them up another time. And uh, like I said, this is wonderful. Beautiful sun. And this sun is going to generate enough electricity. I have a little location up on the hill over here. More direct sun. This is just afternoon sun. In between the trees. I got a lot of tree problems. But if we're cutting the trees out, we have room here. 
I got a spot over there. You only need four to five hours of sun in order to generate enough electricity to charge this unit up. And then, see, look at 140, 140. And uh, it's beautiful, you know, and I thank you for joining us. And uh, we'll check in. Give us a comment and uh, be brave. God bless you. Have a good day.